this video we talk about empathy and compassion two of the most core values very close to my heart empathy plus action is equal to compassion empathy is when you can feel the pain and suffering of a person you can actually put yourself in their shoes and experience that compassion goes a little beyond it when you actually take an action to help that person or to relieve that person's suffering even if you're not able to help that person at the moment you feel that extreme need to go out and help for example sitting in india hearing about the amazon forest fires there might not be something immediate that you can do to help them but then you have this you know you can feel the pain and you really want to go out and help that is compassion now why are we talking about it and why is it important compassion is inherent among humans and what we have been hearing humans are selfish humans just care about themselves they go where they feel they have something uh, which benefits them however that is not true humans are inherently compassionate various studies done with children of 3 4 5 year old or brain studies have actually shown that humans experience that pain whenever they see someone in pain and they go out and help now who changed this uh, definition of humans throughout the years it's we we as a society who believe someone who is stoic stern a little bit you know strict rude or someone who has money fame who has reached the ladder of success i don't know who decides the ladder of success though is uh, you know the definition of someone you should follow and someone uh, who is successful and we don't consider a person who is super kind compassionate helping others for us that person is uh, super emotional or weak or maybe he's not as per the world of today so this is where somewhere we are going wrong why don't we appreciate the people around us who care about others who help each other who go beyond their you know call of duty or who go beyond their uh, capacity to just go out and help and remove someone's suffering imagine a society like that where people help each other care for each other be it in the family be it in the communities who stand for each other during all the difficult times happy times imagine imagine if that was the case do you really think that concerns like loneliness would have been so much as they are today if that was the case social connectedness is one thing that is extremely important for our well-being and if this was the case if we had been following this pattern of living and values then maybe we were not hearing many cases of mental health concerns as well because most of them sprung up because of the absence of these values and connectedness why is compassion important it gives you courage it's not weakness we have some misconceptions that says that a person who has compassion is weak or meek or the person uh, behaving with me in that particular manner maybe trying to take advantage of me or maybe if i behave with others like that then you know um, that person can take advantage of me or uh, there there is something or the wrong we actually can think of whenever we see a very nice and kind person we try and uh, you know uh, not judging exactly but we are basically uh, not having that trust we are thinking of ways on how we can just uh, uh, not believe the person to be so nice and this is where we are going wrong compassion brings so much of courage in you because you are thinking beyond yourself you are thinking about others and you are not bothered if that comes back to you or not you just want to take care of others and help others imagine that sort of courage imagine if that sort of courage would have existed throughout the world imagine the world that has so much of courage if that would have been the case there would have been less wars less conflicts no crimes stronger relationships and i think most of the issues that exist in the world today are very much based on this value corruption just for an example if you understand that it's not just you who you need to think of and there are some morals that exist in place and there are other people who are getting suffered because of you if you have that sense of empathy and compassion there would be no corruption 
if you have that sense of compassion that someone in front of you might also be suffering let's just you know evenly uh, distribute the resources and work towards each other there would have been a happy society higher levels of well-being and happiness higher loyalty in companies <laughs> now this is compassion is one of the most important concepts that exists and should exist in the workplace some of the companies have it really well defined some of the companies don't because it is something that has to be built into the weaved into the uh, culture of the organization and that's how it drills down into the culture from manager to manager their team if you are compassionate towards each other there would be more stronger and resilient teams who will stand by each other during the difficult times the employees will stand by you during your difficult times and you know um more loyalty of course and more trust so uh, i can talk about it a lot and uh, in this video i'm just capturing the essence of it and not going into much details because compassion at workplace is a separate topic in itself then there comes self compassion such a beautiful thing compassion towards ourselves do we really think about it often we are so hard on ourselves setting so much high expectations of ourselves when we can just accept ourselves with the strengths and the flaws of course there is a scope of improvement and we can keep on doing that but why being hard on ourselves who has set that barrier or that mark which you know we have to achieve it in any case and if you are not reaching that mark then we are a failure it's okay it's fine we don't need to stress so much about that and so that's how i just i'll just close the um, topic here in this video summarizing it that uh, compassion is something which is the need of the hour in the world of today we are standing at a critical juncture we can all experience that and if we are there together with each other together with ourselves we can actually build a stronger society community world which is full of love and compassion and believe me it is not a dream it is not just a thought which is uh, you know which seems to be impossible it is very much possible if we all come together and practice compassion isn't something which is present in one and absent in another it is there in everyone all we need to do is to be more aware more mindful and practice and believe me helping others help themselves basically empowering others is the best form of compassion so if you can do that continue to do that namaste thank you